Okay, guys, as I said, this is episode 9, part 2, which is on right after part 1. Um, uploaded the same night, so we're gonna continue. I read the sentence last time, so we're just gonna continue right from here. Alright, then how about we... Um, designate classroom 1A is an official rendezvous point. If you find any of the others, tell them we're, we'll all be gathering together there. And, we w and we'll do the same. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. Okay. Big brother, what is that? Is it throw up? I wish, girl. It, it's nothing. Don't look at it, okay? Come on, let's get out of here. That boy, was he taking... I'm sure it wasn't what it looked like. Come on, let's go, okay? Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. What was that? Um. The smell of raw human flesh is wafting through the hall. It's an extraordinarily strong. Um, we're gonna check in here real quick. Uh, no, nothing new. Why was he taking photos? That's disturbing. Bud? You were taking photos of Mayu. I know he doesn't know it's Mayu. But that was Mayu. What the hell? What? The hallway. Got bigger. Yeah, noticed. The body of a female student attached to her breast pocket is a white student ID name tag. Ma Mashu Agai Ma Mashu Gawa Girls High School Class 2 3 Maka Naruth. Chihayata. Please be okay. I'm sorry I'm so useless. Yeah, useless girl. Come on. Have belief in yourself. Okay. The door. It's locked. We gotta find a key. But where? Where would we make we find this key? And Mr. Blue's gone. And uh, Heavenly Governor, okay, that's too risky. Yeah. Too risky, I guess. And of course, the entrance is not going to open for us. Uh, that was Memoir 2 out of 5. We already read this. Stop! No, I accidentally clicked it again. Sorry, guys. Um. This is getting really intense. I do not know where that key went. Okay, so we gotta find a key for the door for the extra long hallway that just randomly got bigger. Key should be just around. Okay, we can't go up there. Maybe it's in the dark room again. Uh, you know. Oh, just the dead person and candle and exit. And when we go further, what's this? Oh, that's the memoir one five. Crap, I read it again. No, I didn't. It's just really long. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, guys, what we're supposed to do, but I'll check the room just south of here. And after I check that room, I'll go back up around, go up back up the stairs, maybe to a bathroom stall area again. And hope to Christ that we can get somewhere from there. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Satoshi, go faster! You're awful slow. Come on, remember, you have a little sister here that we have to get out of here. We don't want her to die, do we? Actually, I could care less if she died. She's kind of getting on my nerves. First I cared, but she's driving me crazy now. Okay. 
tell the world to go, go, go. There should be vomit in that corner, I think. There's our corpse of Mayu. And he's searching for Mayu. I don't know why he was taking dead photos of her and smiling about it. It's as if he had liked it. Jiffy did. That's disturbing, boy. Like, that's disturbing, bro. We're at the bathrooms. We're at the bathrooms. Anything new here? Is the floor back? No. Is there any key? No. The bucket of maggots isn't here, so you know. Oh, my. The utter confusion of what this game is is utterly unbearable at points. Now, we can't go over here, can we? No. Because that whole floor's gone, and that's where Miss Yui was. I think Miss Yui's still in there, unless she somehow got out of there. That door's still affixed. Back into the infirmary, maybe. we. There's a key or something in here now. Which I think we checked, but we didn't find anything. Here, nothing there. Spare scissors, covered in blood, countless old. There's maybe there's old broken here doesn't look safe to use anymore. Um, no, we're not gonna read that again. Uh, only thing I can think of is we just gotta look around a lot. Pointlessly, wandering, aimlessly, around. Yeah, there's nothing this way. There's, there's a key sound every time I step there. Okay, let's just read the name tag again in the chat of it. Please, I'm so sorry, I'm so useless. Can't have been useless, you're just dead. One ears. So many people have died here. So many people have died. Not sure why everything has to happen, but it all did. We're gonna go back up this way. We're gonna go into that first room. Sorry for the singing. It's just what I do when I'm confused. Oh, that was messed. Bucket. It's empty. Ugh. Uggy, uggy. Maybe this door is boarded up and maybe we can break in. The door... There's a door behind the shelf, it seems. To exist purely for show, it's fixed to the wall like a model. There's no way to open it. What about the shelf? Sitting on the shelves upon the glass door is a tiny key. Unfortunately, the cabinet itself seems to be locked. Use the nail puller to smash the glass. I knew we had to do something like this. The glass door is now in pieces and fell floor all around you. Acquired tiny key. Regrettably, the nail puller broken on impact as well. It seems its usefulness has come to its end. Which means now we can go downstairs, go to the big hallway, and this has to be the key to the big hallway. There is no other area where we have a locked door. Everything else is just affixed to the wall like a model. Oh, this game just keeps getting better. It's a PSP game for PSP game. I was expecting, you know, maybe better graphics or something, but this game doesn't need it. It's one of those games you don't need graphics. You just need the story. The story is enough to pull this game all the way through. The door is locked. The tiny key seems to fit in the lock perfectly. Use it. We are free. The door, the second wing, is now unlocked. Second wing of the school. Oh, this is how you get outside. Now, technically, we're outside. Can we jump over the fence and just run? Climb the trees. Brr, it's freezing out here. Second wing, huh? Can't believe the school is this big. Shiver strain. Uh, are you alright? Uh huh. I'll be fine. Maybe there's. Maybe there'll be a facility bathroom in the second wing. Seems like we can climb the fence pretty easily and get the hell out of here. But look at these woods. It's like they go on forever. And they're completely surrounding this whole building. I guess it's no time worrying about that anyway. First things first, let's take care of Yuka's predicament. Come on, let's go. 
Okay. Does anybody have like a bug or something? We might want to catch some of this water and drink it later. Second wing, first floor. Whoa, this place doesn't feel right at all. The air is really thick. Oh, big brother, my head hurts. It feels like it's going to split open. Mine too, and my ears are ringing. I don't think it's safe to be in here for very long. Do you want to wait back in the main building, Yuka? I definitely get a feeling you'd be safer there. No, please, tip me with you. Don't leave me by myself. Don't have much choice, then. Alright, no need to worry, though, okay? I'll stay right by your side. Okay. It's perfectly safe. Two. Eh, so... Don't... I wish half of these were eligible. Legible, sorry. Let's save the current data. Rattle, rattle. Very interesting. Okay. Stick to the walls. Stick to the walls. The door seems to be fixed like a model. That's the staff room. And that's more staff room. Okay. Pointless up there. What about further down? Staff room. Music room. The door is locked. So we can get in the music room. What the hell? The door is locked to the music room and it just closed. And opened. Creep. E. Suicide site. Was there a suicide in here? Must be. Oh, this is eerie. There's no, not a soul to be seen anywhere near the piano. Oh, I stopped the music. Um. There's pictures of a head? Donated April 1953. Kennedy Piano Classroom. Okay. I don't see what the point of this room is. Okay. Hey, piano again. One 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 two 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 three three four four five five five. Okay, that's a lot of numbers. One 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 one. Or I I I I I I. Okay. Oh. There's a decaying corpse sitting in the chair. Lexner Senior High School, Class 2-4. Nayo Takashi. Karori. Karori. I want to see you again. Well, you're dead. Good luck with that one. I kind of sound insensitive sometimes. This game is actually very tragic. I know. It's all make-belief and stuff, but it's just tragic. Cursed art room. Cursed? Maybe I don't want to be in here. Oh, that's creepy. It's a plaster bust, cheap and mass produced for the use of still like paintings. Can we read that journal? No. Seems to be water cooler paints are stored. It's filled with, um, palleted noise, painting oils, and matters of other various supplies, student supplies. <gasps> no, 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 Go away! Big brother? Oh, I see her. I don't recognize the school uniform, but she looks like a living person, at least. We should talk to her. Yeah, and then die. Y yeah, we should. Uh, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. Uh, um, oh, we're students from the school called Kirizaki Academy, and, uh, we performed this weird ritual with some of my classmates and lost consciousness. And when we woke up, we found ourselves trapped here. Was it the same for you? Uh, no response. Her expression isn't changing at all. Something's wrong. Get away from her. The female student is staring intently at the corner of the room, opening and closing her mouth repeatedly as if chanting an incantation. Big brother? Y yeah? Uh. Da -da 
dot dot. Yet in the grand scheme of things, are they not but a tiny sampling of small, insufficient lives? These chicks who are nested within, never to be seen again, washed away by nothingness. Rising and falling a consistent stream. Oh, I do appreciate Shiko, um, Shashiko's kind gesture, but any more will bring me more sadness. Will bring o will only bring me sadness, please. No more. Oh, so she's gonna keep repeating that. I'm gonna get away from her. Is she running now? No? Who are you? Hello? Girly? Okay then. Ignore me. It's okay. Big brother, it's somebody else. I guess there's a lot of other people who are brought here too. Uh huh. Come on, let's follow her. I don't feel like that's a good idea. Of course, we're gonna go do it anyway. Heavenly House Elementary School. Notice of school closure. 10, 18, 1975. Due to the reputation earned and repeated tragic incidents and accidents in around this school, plans for this abolition have been finalized. There have, has been a sharp decline in registration and attendance since the initial incidents, indicating that the school board that our time is at an end. We sincerely regret to announce that Heavenly Host Elementary School will close its doors for the last time on November 18th, 1975. It is though my own vices that is disdainful decision has come to pass, and for that I must offer my deepest apologies to those who are affected. Filed to all the teaching staff, Heavenly Host Elementary School Principal, Takamine Yanagori. Hey, Chicky, who are you? Um, hello? Sorry to approach you out of nowhere like this. We're students from the school of the Academy and... Huh? Oh my god, I know her. She was in the freaking... She was in the opening. She's alive? I'm guessing? What's wrong? No, no one believes you. Not a word. Out of my way. Okay, bitchy poo. Even when we finally meet other living beings, it's like they've completely lost their minds. I guess it really isn't safe to stay in here for very long. One. Uh, more illegible pieces of crap. That must be like a basement door again, too. Uh, girly. Only one attack. Ooh, okay. Another earthquake? You gotta be kidding me. Damn it. It's over. Stop hicking. It's okay, it's over. You handled that very well. Surprisingly. Here, can you stand? Uh-huh. What the hell? The floorboard seemed to have been shifted during the last earthquake, plunging a hole that blocked your way earlier. Wait, what? Plugging up the hole that blocked your way earlier. Okay, that's it. Oh, there's an up, there's a down. Go up! It only seems logical. Dead by. Based on the size, they appear to be the remains of a senior high school student. Says the Academy for Girls, Class 2 3, Kyoto Fujiwari. Kyoto! Kyoto! Please, no. Is, didn't I just find Kyoto? No, Rikoyo. Principal's office. No entry permitted. Third floor. Running down. This school's actually really fucking big. Okay. Uh-huh. Here we go. Maybe we can go in here. I sense we may have been here. Boys Laboratory, any and all students responsible for damaging these facilities 
blah blah. Oh, we can finally let her use the bathroom, right? No. No luck in here either. Good crap. Yeah, she really needs the bathroom. Good crap. Seriously. What is just... Oh, I'm back here. Uh... Where do we go now? Downstairs again? Is this the memoirs? <gasps> yeah! Cold. Hurts to move fingers. No strength to write on desk. Cannot talk or see friend. Tendon and leg cut. Beating badly. A female student corpse lies sprawled out on the floor. There's a couple of scrapes of paper from the letter set gently resting atop her bony hand. Luck is fickle, but I still have faith in it. That's good. That good luck charm. I know it's stupid, but I truly believe it works. So I know I'll see you again. Mayo. And if anyone else finds this letter, please wish her good luck for me. Karayo Karuma. Class 2-4. Lex and High. Karori. Maybe that was finally Karori's death? Poor Karori. She dies. I don't know where we're going now. I found a boy's bathroom, but not the girls. Oh, we're gonna wander even further through this game. Through the school. Nothing's happy anymore. Up we go. What are these? Am I getting hurt? Whoa, those actually hurt me. Yeah, those are creepy. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Run away from the creepy. Run in here. Stairways. Oh, we already checked that body. Da, 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 uh, oh, that's the creepy music room. Uh, oh yeah, staff room was shut. And the staff room was shut. Now I have a feeling we're here just going in circles. Bloody biscuits. We have looped. Quick save. I wonder if these doors are openable now. Oh, you can still open. Let's go back, though. I don't think we're done here. Not yet. Yes, yeah, so there's the boys' lavatory. Very, very useless at this point. Just saying. Up. 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 And up. No, it said no one's permitted, but can the door still be opened? No! Now hold on. Oh, Kyoto! Not Kyori. Then who's Kyoto? Fucking bitch. If only we knew what we were doing. Cause sadly, I don't. Girls lavatory, unauthorized hazing, or trickery. Anyone caught horsing around will be severely punished. The door seems to, um, seems like it even has a lock, yet it's not budging in the slightest bit. It's entire surface is littered with protective paper charms. Spiritual con confinement, banishment of malice, my physical bearer, Boo does grandship and charm of exorcism. What the hell? Where are the protective seals? Is there something inside? Oh, she needs in there. Look, you really shouldn't hold it this long. It's bad for you, the bladder. Why don't you just go in the corner? 
How about outside? Then in the woods along the walkway. That should be fun, right? Okay. Really? Now we gotta go back outside? Oh, girl, you're becoming really tro troublesome here. You're getting on my nerve. Outside at the edge of the woods. Why couldn't you have just done that when we were out there, you little... <laughs> Boys' laboratory. For some reason, all the bathrooms can't be opened. Very, very odd. Okay, it's all you. I'll be waiting right here. You shouldn't have any trouble getting over the fence, right? I think I can do it. If anything happens, yell really loud, and I'll come and get you, okay? Okay. Oh, something's gonna happen. She oh, something's gonna happen. Oh, I'm her. It's taller than I thought. Can I really get over it? Yeah! Whoopsie. Come on, girl. Oh. Shit. Come on. Oh, there's a screen. Once. Get it back. Get it back. Get it back. She can't say give. She has no tongue, apparently. Huh? Where? <laughs> it must be night time. I must have woken up in the middle of the night again. Probably drank too much juice before bed. Oh, girl. Send some up anyway. Guess I'll go wake Big Brother and bug him a little before I go back to sleep. And maybe drink a nice big glass of peach juice, too. Yeah, that sounds good. You're gonna die! Aren't you? Get it back. Uh? Get it back. Get it back. What? Get it back! Oh, she's an eyeless one. The spirit of a little girl peers right in front of Yuka's face, glowing a blush white. Where the left eye should be, only a gaping, empty sock can be seen. Yeah, this, that's not cool. The discontinuing snip-snip sound grows even louder as the spirit draws near and presents the item she holds in her hand. It's a pair of sewing scissors, and she's brandishing them dangerously close to Yuka's face. The inner blades are dull, rusty, and caked with blood. There's little doubt that the following events are going to be unimaginably excruciating. Give it back, give it me back my eye. The girl repeats her futile demand over and over again, bringing the blades closer and closer and closer each time. I can't move, pig brother. Get it back to me! Or just give it to me. N no, big brother. Oh. Yuka's left eye offers little resistance as its jagged, blood soaked blade is plunged deep within. Oh my Christ! Her vision runs red with waves of unbearable agony, trigger unconsciousness, screams of primal, nearly animalistic torment. She instinctively reaches up to pull the scissors out, but she's toward, but just touching them lightly causes causes new jolts of torturous misery to flow through her body. Please tell me this. Oh, is this like a real end? Or is this like a bad thing? The sound of a foreign object scraping against her cranium echoes through her mind mir miraculous, mercilessly, not from her eardrums, but directly to her, her brain. No other exp experience could possibly have prepared her for this. It's all the suffering of the world, collocated into a single moment. Oh my god. 
The pain grows exponentially worse with each heartbeat, yet the trauma of the experience makes the heart beat faster, creating an endless cycle. It's not something you can adapt to. It's not something you can ignore. All you can do is thank heaven above when you finally die. What the hell? Get hit back. Guys. Get hit back. Guys. <coughs> I realize you wanted it back. You have it. I don't know if that was like a wrong end or not. I got a wrong ending. Wrong end. Yeah. Okay. I don't really know what I did wrong. Honestly. Anyway, guys, that was the end of chapter of episode nine. Hope to see you guys in the next episode. Take care. See all you guys then. Hope to see you there.